Hey guys, I'm going to be your review host for the day at Zach Jack Studios 2010. I'm Zach. Today we're going to be checking out the LG NV3 by Ver on the Verizon network. Uh, the NV3 is, hence the name, the third version of the NV phone that has came out on the Verizon wireless network. Um, there's definitely some new features and according to Jack, the owner of this phone, He's definitely enjoying it. If you go to the front of the phone, you can see that LG has completely changed the phone itself. We have a smaller uh, buttons, not much smaller. There's no pretty much normal buttons now, um, with a larger screen. The screen is a lot easier to access, and it also provides um, more options to do on the front of the screen. Um, one being you can view pictures now. Um, there's also a dedicated contacts key which is also nice to have. If we look at the top of the phone you can see we have our speaker for phone calls. If we go to the bottom of the phone you have your data port also for your charging. If we go to the right side of the phone we have a head jack, if you pop this open, it is not a three and a half millimeter head jack set so you would have to get the um, additional equipment, whatever that would be, to listen to music. On the bottom of the right we have a slot for your micro SD slot for your micro SD card. If we go to the left of the phone you can see that we have our volume toggles and towards the top we have a dedicated camera key. If we go to the back of the phone you can see they uh, LG came up with this funky design which is sort of includes the in the design it includes the camera which is a three megapixel camera with an LED flash. If we open up the phone you can see we have a full QWERTY keyboard, your two um, menu keys, a nice thumb pad over here, your speakerphone button is located right here, a clear button is dedicated there, a power and key is here, and a dedicated send message key is located there. Now one thing that they changed on the LG3 that I personally like is they've moved the space bar in the middle of the phone so it's set up more like a real computer keyboard. Uh, I don't know, I just think it makes more sense to set that up. You have a symbol key, a shift key, a dedicated message key, and a dedicated favorites key. If you go into the favorites, you, you are able to set a total of 10 favorites people from your contacts. Um, if we go into the menu, you can see it's not very different compared to the LG2 or the LG software on the phone. Um, very basic, but sometimes going basic is the best thing you can do. One thing that um, we really like is the way the keys are shaped. Um, I don't know if you can really see. You can just barely see, but there's definitely definition to each key individually and the way that they're shaped also there goes LG with their sh funky shaping and design but yet it gives the key, each key um, almost more room for your thumbs to hit onto the key which is in a good way good because it works for you, better for your texting and it's also stylish at the same time um, uh, one thing we did notice is on this top, on the, for your screen, it is a larger screen. 
but it's not much larger from the L NV2 screen. What they did here is LG increased the glass cover on the screen so the over the screen so the screen actually appears to be almost two times larger than what it actually is. Uh, that's just one of those ideas that companies come out with to really trick your eyes. But in real matters, it is, act it is larger, but not as much as they want to make it seem as larger. Your speakers are the same size on the LG2 as well. But there you go again, LG is designing these long, uh, plasticky, chrome look-like speakers to make the speakers actually seem larger than they are. Now, there, for when your phone does ring, you, these are actually the two speakers that are used instead of one large speaker that's located somewhere on the back of the phone. That is, I think that's a good idea, but some people say it's annoying, especially when you put it in your pocket, because then your ringer is even quieter than what it actually should be. Okay guys, so that's going to be our review today on the LG NV3 for the Verizon network. We hope you enjoyed this view, and remember, where entertainment is always your way. Enjoy your day guys. Thank <laughs> you.